Today we are in La Rochelle, a city in the western part of France uh, and a very popular tourist destination. In fact, it's one of the most visited places in France. La Rochelle has had sometimes difficult but overall very interesting history. It was founded in about 10th century and very soon became an important, very independent-minded seaside town. Today we are going to walk around its city center, we'll spend some time in the aquarium, climb its three medieval towers, walk around the marina and in general enjoy our time here. La Rochelle is one of the most popular seaside resort towns in France, but for a long time it acted quite independently from the rest of the country. For example, it received important trading privileges uh, when the Duchy of Aquitaine became part of England in the 12th century. After that, La Rochelle benefited a lot from maritime trade, especially in wine and salt, and even became the largest French port on the Atlantic coast for a long time. La Rochelle always looked outward, also contributing to colonization of the New World, especially in what is now Canada. La Rochelle also often had different political and religious preferences from the rest of France. For example, becoming a stronghold of the Protestant religion until the city captured by the Cardinal Richelieu. Despite all these differences, La Rochelle now definitely feels very French. And in the summer, the city gets really crowded, mostly with the French tourists. On our first day we arrived quite late in the afternoon and because of that did not do much. We mostly walked around the marina area, enjoyed the sunset and our way back took a boat to the old port. By the way, uh, it is a great way to save time uh, if you don't want to walk around the harbor and also is a good opportunity to see the two medieval towers very closely. As La Rochelle was a strategically important port on the Atlantic coast for most of its history, it had uh, to protect itself by building military fortifications. Before the city captured by the French royal forces in the 17th century, it used to be surrounded by city walls and uh, the harbor was protected by the medieval towers. Now we are going to enter the first one, uh, San Nicolas Tower.
If you go on top, uh, you will get one of the best views of La Rochelle from there. In the past, uh, the chain uh, was used to uh, block the entrance to uh, the port in the evening. Uh, it was uh, extended from one tower to another, uh, so the ships uh, had to be on time uh, in the evening. And uh, this is Port de Minim, uh, one of the largest marinas uh, in France. When La Rochelle was attacked by the royal forces and by Cardinal Richelieu during the siege of uh, La Rochelle, uh, the city was basically starved into surrender. And the way uh, Richelieu achieved this uh, was by building a dam. Uh, if you go look into that area, the uh, red uh, structure and uh, that indicates the area where the dike was located and uh, you can now observe it uh, during the low tide. And uh, this is a boat that takes people across the harbor. Uh, it's called uh, Sibas and it is a great value as it only costs about 1 euro. La Rochelle is sometimes called La Ville Blanche or White City because of its many limestone buildings. It has a very well preserved city center thanks to a visionary urban conservation program. For us, uh, its most striking feature is a large number of beautiful arcaded streets. For many years, these streets helped the city merchants to sell their goods in all kinds of weather. This building behind me is one of the oldest uh, hospitals in France. It was created in the year uh, 1203. One of the best places to relax in La Rochelle is to have a refreshing drink uh, on the square in front of its beautiful gothic town hall.
This is a rare part of the wall, uh, which was not destroyed after the siege of La Rochelle uh, by Richelieu. Behind me is the Lantern Tower, which is actually the only surviving uh, lake house on the whole of the Atlantic coast. Uh, and we also highly recommend going inside, because then you will be able to see a very interesting graffiti, which were drawn by mostly by sailors uh, who were staying here as prisoners. And sometimes these graffiti, they look like works of art rather than scribbles on the wall. We are big fans of sea life and so try to visit uh, sea aquariums whenever we have a chance. The aquarium in La Rochelle did not disappoint. It's one of the largest in France and it has a really great collection of many species. We especially liked uh, its seahorses, the water tunnel uh, with jellyfish and its collection of tropical plants. We also really liked another quirky museum uh, in La Rochelle, which is basically a combination of two expositions. Museum of very old automatons, uh, which are basically toys, uh, which look and move like humans, and a museum of toys, uh, mostly ships and cars. To sum up, uh, we really enjoyed our stay in La Rochelle. In the summer it can be very crowded, uh, so it's a good idea to go there outside of the peak season. 
We definitely recommend staying there for more than one or two days, as it can offer so much. It can also serve as a very convenient base uh, to see some other interesting places located nearby. But we will talk more about it in our follow-up videos, uh, stay tuned!